Hello everyone, this is JazzJack and I would like to show you a tutorial which is a follow-up from the previous one I did on the hard surface panels. So let's start from creating a more interesting shape than before. Uh, we're gonna use a smooth edge for the sake of the presentation here. Uh, let's create a little bit of a slope in here. Let's select this face, extrude it on the y axis and scale it to zero. Let's create an edge loop and let's smooth it out like this, extrude this part. And now I am going to hide the part of the mesh right here. And the first trick is using a knife tool, which I love dearly. Um, let's hit Z for the cutting through and create a little bit of weird shape like this. I'm gonna delete those faces, delete this as well, and recreate the faces with a little bit of an angle to them. Alright. The second part of the cleanup selecting those coplanar faces and dissolving them into one angle. What we are left after that are the vertices, which are not necessarily needed here. Okay, I'm just going to leave this one here for the sake of the presentation. Alright, now if you use the insert tool and you have a quite dense geometry, you might encounter some errors doesn't show just yet, okay? Uh, although let's make it work really bad, okay? With an insert like this, you will need to go in manually and fix the mesh. In this case, it's very easy. You just want to select this vertice, this vertice, and then merge at the last selected, okay? You can do the same thing right here. Now, this mesh will easily create a panel right now. Okay, well, let's go back. Let's work with a little bit of foreseeing here and let's recreate the panels we did. Okay, this was 0.02 I believe. Alright, and again insert with 0.02 and let's give it a depth of 0.03. Now, if you want to use the smooth shading, we will have to mark some edges as a sharp one. So let's add an edge split tool. It will actually work pretty nice in this case, but I want to go and make sure everything works just like I wanted it. So let's turn off the edge angle and mark the things manually. So select the bottom edge loop, mark sharp. Now select the top mark sharp and now let's go into the corners which we actually want to be sharp and select them. Now I like using this system because it really gives you a full control of what you're doing. It's a little bit more time consuming but you end up with a process that makes it absolutely flawless. So for the other sharp edges, let's select them. Let's mark them sharp. We want to actually this, need this and this edge, so let's just delete them. And the last edge we need sharp is this one. Alright, observe and this one. Okay, so we have our first panel, and now I'm going to show you a little trick of creating panels from multiple selections. So let's select all those faces, hit the eye, and by default, uh, your output would be something like this. If you hit the eye again, uh, the insert tool will work on individual faces. So let's go with point of two like before, zero for the depth. Alright. Uh, let's select the inner faces, hit the insert again, and this time. Okay, 
faces. Those are the faces uh, that all the edges will be actually sharp. We can just leave the selection created by the insert tool and just mark it sharp. All right. Now, mm, for the front panel, we won't create a simple one because it would be too easy. We are going to use the edge uh, knife tool again and create some not very complicated but appealing shape like this. Let's use the insert tool. Uh, let's go to zero on the depth and uh, two on the thickness. Let's do it again. This time on the three on the depth. And like before every corner of this shape will be sharp so we can just go mark sharp. Alright now mm, to have a little bit more fun, we are going to create, to create the inset uh, or the panel that is actually concave. So let's go in. First of all, we're going to need some rim to it. We are going to use the insert tool again. Let's go like that. Let's go zero on the depth and point one on the thickness. Now. Let's go into this corner, make it way smaller, and delete the parts of the mesh, like this. Okay, we move that C's now, extrude it on the x-axis, extrude it on the z-axis, extrude it on the x-axis again, this time snapping to the vertices right here. Create face and then you need to place knife project and use it. 
view that was the knife tool again. The C option got it in here and then I can match it less like the vertice. So it's going to be a little bit easier on the shading. Alright, let's mm, let's create some more shapes. Actually I'm gonna hide the part of the mesh again. Shift H. Let's go into the front view and draw some weird shapes right here. Okay. There it is. So this will serve as our new panels. Now let's go in. a very slight, almost unnoticeable actually, error in shading here. That's because the end gun is created in the middle of a face that already existed. So we can fix those things quite quickly by going to that knife tool, creating a cut here. Thank you guys for watching and let's get back to